So in today's episode, Kyle is going to start tearing into that maroon pickup truck. Matt is going to get into this blue Camaro a little bit. And then Eric is working on the maroon C7 you saw in the last episode. We should be finishing that up pretty shortly. So let's get right into it. A Magnuson supercharger kit on this uh, Silverado. And people who have seen the other videos don't want to put the rear end in. Stock airbox. I don't have one of those. It's already got an intake. Uh, that might be an issue. Uh, we already put um, long tube headers on it. It's a uh, um, American Racing long tube header system. It already had an AFE uh, intake. So that's pretty much it. As far as I know, this is when we put the uh, rear end in. Came in the uh, fairing and after seal was leaking. So we're nice to uh, finish this. See this thing put up some nice numbers. If William Hung can get tell a contract. Him, tell, tell him I'm serious. Oh, he's dead serious. I believe you. We've been in bars together, and I've been in, in the karaoke starts, and I'm like, dude, you got to get up there. That's why I asked him to not do that. Yeah, he wouldn't do it. I need to work my way up to karaoke, and then I'll think about uh, the idol. Pick a song everyone knows, so everyone can sing with you, so, you know, can't tell if you're bad. I already know. I got I got. I had to sing a song right now. Hey, Matt. Probably be Morgan Wallen. I knew it. I knew it was going to be Wasted. Morgan Wallen. When we baselined it, it was like 350 horsepower and like 370 torque, something like that. So I'm thinking this should pick up easy another 150 horsepower maybe. It's going through a truck, so it's going to be, it's going to zap a lot of the power from the drivetrain. Out. Which I understand, but you know. Let me see. 
if you just want to go for like a couple beers and get something to eat right after work, I'll probably be down for that. <coughs> I gotta, I gotta see what time they're leaving. I need to find a little solder. You have the little, little solder? All right, I've only been here like four days, and I know that's a lie. What? A couple. Yeah. A couple what? Couple. They got wool on tap too. Well, um, yeah, got my mesh controller mounted. Um, started wiring it. Got a little bit of the wiring done. I got my solenoid mounted down low. Gonna uh, mount the tank next in the uh, hatch, and um, should be good to go by the end of the day. I'll show you the solenoid. <laughs> Alright, so right now I'm just uh, running my meth line to my solenoid down here. As you can see, the harness from up top comes down, around to my solenoid. Then it'll run up here, around. And then uh, I'll push it to the back for the arm tank. Right now I'm wiring up the meth tank, the, wiring up the pump, which is mounted to the meth, uh, meth tank. Just mounted the tank on my plate that I made, and this will pretty much do it. I'll be wrapped up here soon. Just gonna put in the wheel wells and wrap up all that stuff. I'll be finished. All done. Headers, lower pulley, our meth system, and our uh, custom uh, ice tank and heat exchanger. So this one is all wrapped up and ready to go on the dyno. All right, for having no meth on this thing, it actually didn't do bad. It's on 12 pounds of boost, uh, made 746 on pump. The computer will compensate for the fueling and all that stuff. And then depending on how much E is in there, it will add timing based off that percentage of E. So basically if there's like 30% E in there, it might add like a degree and a half. If there's like 50 or 60%, it might add like two or three degrees of timing. And that's where the power comes. and 786 on uh, like 52% E. Problem with having no meth is AITs get hot. And if you'll notice at the top of the graph on the E85, when I was really trying to push it, it kind of like starts dipping off and that's because the AITs are getting too hot and it's starting to pull timing. Um, it probably won't do that on the street. If it ever does get that hot on the street, then it'll be safe and it'll pull the timing out. Nick's beautiful six cent Camaro. That is back to complete what will be a stage five. We've been doing it in steps. So I did the piston rod, heads cam. Yeah, it's probably been, I don't know, maybe close to a year ago, six months. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it's gonna be sick. As you can see, it's like insanely clean. He actually owns a detail, you know, detailing professional, so. <laughs> Not right now. Why does he have a single cupcake at Frankie's party? Yeah. Well, you were kind of
<laughs> I certainly was. See, I get the front bumper off this thing. Yank didn't take off. You do the LT4 injectors and whatnot. It could be worse, dude. That's the worst thing ever. <laughs> Let me tell you what couldn't be worse. That's the thing. And this 18 feet long thing I got going on here because my other one snapped along my hair ratchet <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> What'd you do to that? You, uh... <laughs> I do, that thing exploded. <laughs> Try using this at a breaker bar and uh, about a quarter inch. Didn't really hold up too well. No. But to be fair, I've been treating it like that for about 16 years. Well, that's going back on, but we got to get under here to the fuel injectors that we need to replace. not making boost it was only making a pound of boost and we like tried all a bunch of different things and couldn't figure out why it came in here I think it had a four five or a four two five pulley on it and it was making like one pound and then we switched it to a four inch pulley and it was still making the basically one pound boost making like 1.8 pounds or something and in reality, we thought it's a P1X, so it's a little guy. But they generally still make good power. Uh, so we weren't sure if there was something wrong with the blower or whatever. Like, it was a brand new kit, but we literally tried all kinds of shit. Sent the blower back to Pro Charger. They said it was fine, all that. And we ended up putting a 3.7 pulley on it just to spin it a little harder. And, uh, and I guess that seems to do the trick. I guess it was just being spun too slow. Um, you know, it was making like two pounds of boost and we put the three seven on it. And now it makes like uh, eight pounds on the last uh, last run. And it made killer power, it made 730. And uh, basically heads cam on eight pounds. Should be good. A long road getting here because we kept thinking there was a problem with the blower or something like intervals messed up or I don't know. We did a whole bunch of to try and figure out if something's wrong with it and ended up not being anything wrong with it. But now it seems to be uh, running pretty good, so. Yeah, man, that's a certified swanker, apparently.